everyone welcome to APS Deep Academy and this is your mentor Swati Joshi in this class we will study about DC power supply we know that electronic system work on DC supplies and in our home primarily source of voltage is alternating current or AC in nature which is sinusoidal so we have to convert those AC signal to the perfect DC so that our electronic devices will work smoothly another example of DC supply are dry cell batteries Dry cell batteries are compact and they don't have ripple factor or ripples. But they are not convenient as AC or DC conversion. Why so? Because they need frequent replacement and the voltage output by them is very low. So we have to use alternate solution which is nothing but conversion of AC to DC. The process of converting AC to DC is termed as rectification. And rectifiers are used to convert alternating current to the DC one. But a lone rectifier is not doing the full task. We have so many components and elements in our DC supply so that we will get a perfect DC. Now we will discuss block diagram of DC power supply. So firstly I am considering here a sinusoidal signal as an input. And in India, the AC signal value of AC signal is 20 volt RMS, which is nothing but root mean square. And in frequency, it is 50 hertz. So this is the AC signal which is coming to our home in India. After that, we uh, before performing the rectification, we use a transformer here. Why so? Because this 220 volt peak to peak is very high. So what we have to do, we have to step down those voltages. So we use here a step down transformer. Step down. So that a particular low level of voltage we will get for rectification. After that, we will process the rectifier. Rectifiers are simple, the diode circuits. We know that PN junction diodes forward in forward bias pn junction diodes flow current and in reverse bias they are just a they are just open circuit so diode is a unidirectional device in this current flow in one direction so for rectification or removing the negative half we can use the diodes as a rectifier we have few circuits like half wave rectifier full wave rectifier and bridge rectifiers also now the output of this rectifier are given to the filter circuit now what are the filter circuit here? The filter circuit are nothing but the capacitor circuit. With the use of capacitor we just remove the ripples which are coming from this rectifier output because rectifier output is not purely unpulsating DC. They are pulsating DC. So this is not steady state DC. We have to flow it towards the filter process. So we have to filter the ripples also. After the filtering process, we need a regulated voltage. So here is a block of voltage regulator came. Voltage regulator. Now what is the term voltage regulator means here? Let's suppose fil after filter output, we get some uh, value in a range of 1 to 2 volt variation. Like if somewhere it is 1.1 volt, somewhere it is 1.5 volt and somewhere 2.5 or 2 volt. But for smooth functioning, we need a particular voltage. Let's suppose 2 volt at every time so we use a voltage regulator here voltage regulator are nothing but zener diodes so zener diodes are used uh, widely used as voltage regulators after that we will get dc as an output okay so this is the basic building block of any dc power supply firstly what we have to do we have to step down the peak value so that we directly use them for diode rectification so we use a step down transformer after that uh, the rectification will begin and uh, to remove the pulses ripples from the rectified output we have to use filter circuits and to remove the unregulations of the power we need a voltage regulator here and after that we have the DC. With the help of this block diagram we will clear our understanding little much. So as an input we are giving AC supply or sinusoidal waveform to the transformer. Here we can see that the output of transformer is low voltage supply. Here you can see that peaks are 
up a peaks are little high and here the peaks are lowing so this is the process of step down transformer the peak are little lower than the earlier one after that a rectifier circuit is applied and here the negative half of the cycle is removed with the help of rectifier circuit and with uh, and after that we are using the filter here and the filter output we can see that here the ripples or the high peak is lit literally so literally summarized to lower peaks but still it is not the exact output which we want it is a pulsating dc so we need a regulator here so that who can regulate all these vibrating pulse to a single line and this is the final output of a regulated power supply we can see that this is the output of voltage regulator so this is the basic building block of what a dc power supply means now let me discuss little more about the term dc what dc is dc is nothing but direct current we all know and it is of two type steady and pulsating now steady means they don't have any ripples in that but in pulsating it is varying like that so it has some ripples the voltage across dc is considered steady state dc is considered as vdc and voltage across pulsating dc consider as vrms now rms here is root mean square what is the meaning of rms here is that we are considering the mean of all this uh, wave all this you know pulsating uh, ripples so that this whole function will come into a harmony so we are considering the rms value here what the ripple means ripple mean a slight hop or spike type waveform so somewhere it is high somewhere it is low so these are the ripples we have to you know take the signal whole so we will just do the mean of the signal here so this is vrms or voltage considered in pulsating dc is always vrms now the ratio of this vrms over vdc is nothing but our ripple factor which is denoted by the gamma symbol so this is our ripple factor ripple factor okay so what is the ripple factor ripple factor is nothing but it is the ratio of rms value which is of pulsating dc and uh, ratio of vdc divided by vdc which is the steady state dc voltage now as an introduction of dc power supply i already uh, discussed too much now in next class we will discuss half wave rectifier the process of rectification and the ripple factor of half wave rectifier so till now bye bye thanks so much